All right, next we're going to dive into the slow blues. Now, there's an important thing you all need to know about the slow blues. You can't look down your nose at the blues. The blues is one of the most important elements of all popular music. All popular American music comes from the blues. Now, it is relatively um, simple, but it is also highly sophisticated. There are certain elements and there's certain characteristics of the style that make it what it is. Okay, I'm going to play the... The, the, the example for you and then we're going to break it down and we're going to go into detail about exactly what makes the slow blues work the way that it works best. Okay, breaking down the slow blues. First of all, we're going to be in the key of A, and this is a 12-bar blues, so there's three chords. The A, the D, the A, the E, the D, and the, and the A again. There's a couple little things that I put in here to, to, to make it a little bit interesting. Um, we'll break it down section by section. First of all, okay, the number one name of the game when you're playing a slow blues is to give your notes duration. And the way that I think of it, and the rule of thumb is, let your note ring up until the snare drum. So it's going, doom, to cut, doom, doom, to cut, right? Let that note ring, boom, to cut, and you're out. When that snare drum plays, you're not playing. You get out a split second, half a second, less than half a second, 
before that snare drum hits. So when that snare drum hits, it's all by itself. That's going to be the key to getting the, the note duration right, okay? Now, the other thing that I do that's important is that I put a little shake on the note, okay? I don't put full-on, not full-on vibrato, like we talked about in the, um, in the technique section, but just a little wiggle, just to give that note some help, okay? Just when you're playing these longer notes, you give it a little bit of help with the left hand, and you just give it a little gentle wiggle. Now, the other thing that I do, you'll notice, is my pivot point. Now, throughout this, this whole course, you'll notice uh, sometimes I'll be playing on the back pickup, sometimes I'll be playing over the front pickup, and on this particular one, for, these, um, for this soft touch type of playing, I tend to play with my thumb anchored at the end of the fingerboard, okay? So there's three anchor places, and I also anchor on the string, but in this particular one, I like to anchor right at the end of the fingerboard. This is where the string has the most flexibility, and this, again, is adding to the important tone factor of what makes a slow blues sound right. Okay, so we're in the key of A. First pitch is A, C sharp, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, C sharp, okay? But it's played like this. Okay, that's the feel, okay? Now, in this particular progression, it goes from the one to a quick four, which is D. Okay, so the first set of maneuvers is directly to the D and then back to the A. Now the pitches over the four chord or the D are D, F sharp, A, B, C natural, B, a, F sharp, D, okay? That's the first set of moves. Directly back to the one. Now when you go back to the one, you play it twice, then up to the four again. Back to the one. Twice. I do a little climb up there from the four, D, D sharp, E to the five chord. Pitches in this uh, shape are going to be E, G sharp, B natural, C sharp, D natural. Down to the D, the four chord. And now starts the turnaround section. Turnaround section does a little uh, climb up from the one chord to the four. Okay, and it's got that little sharp five, five kit. At the, at the end of the turnaround. That climb up, the pitches in that climb up are A, that's gonna be A, B, C sharp, D, right back down again, and then the little tag is F, E, boo, boom. And then I put in a little glissando, a little gentle glissando getting us back to the top again, okay? Now, occasionally throughout the, um, throughout the progression, you know, the cool thing about playing blues is you wanna stay home, you wanna, you wanna hold that pattern. Um, it requires a lot of discipline, and sometimes there's a, there's a little bit of a misconception about, um, of, about what real, true, and great musicianship is. The true and, uh, and greatest musicians have the most ability to play with discipline, and the blues is a perfect example of it. Um, but so you want to toe the line you want to hold that line 
and keep it the same all the time, okay? Now, what you might wanna do though sometimes is just put in little leading um, lines that lead you to the next chord because this is, this, is like, this is like communicating with the rest of the band saying, here we go, we're going to the four. You know, you're setting it up, you're leading it there, you're making the music move and you're setting it up with some, with some melodic movement. So in a couple of cases throughout this uh, plan example, sometimes I will go, So when I'm going from the one to the four chord, I'll use a little turn, I call it, where I go from the one to the five, which is E, to the octave of A, G, F sharp, and then I'll do a chromatic climb up from the B, B, C, C sharp, boom, and now I'm at the four chord. Okay? And that's pretty much all that's pretty much all there is now at the end of the song I do uh, a traditional blues ending and it goes like this I take and I'm working off of the one and I'm kind of going going back and forth and back and forth I'm, I'm, I'm like pedaling off the one for the outro I go Okay. Now what that is, is that's A, tonic, root, and I go to the C sharp, the D, the D sharp, and the E, which is the five, but I'm going back and forth between the A. And then I rest on the B flat, a half step above tonic, and then resolve to the one. This is a traditional slow blues ending. So there's all the elements, there's all the mechanics of what make a slow blues a slow blues. Remembering to give your notes duration and to give them that little gentle wiggle, okay? Especially on the tonic, okay? Remembering to let the note uh, ring all the way up until the snare drum, have that duration, and to play with a light touch, okay? You don't wanna mash the strings, this is a very gentle, um, soft kind of um, to kind of groove and feeling so you want to match that okay so there you have it the slow blues <laughs>